Hello everyone, another day, another vlog. In today's vlog, I want to show you what I eat in a day, in a day in life as a YouTuber. Every single morning, I make myself a warm cup of coffee latte. It's my absolute favorite. I've been trying to reduce my caffeine intake, so this is the real normal coffee that I take for the day. So I try to cherish every single sip. And I get in front of my kitchen table and to work on my YouTube videos. And my new cat, my new adopted stray cat, Nala, would love to sit behind me on the same chair. It's a little bit tight, but she's super attached to me and she always tries to cuddle with me as close as possible. When we first found Nala Cat in our neighborhood, she was only four pounds and she was so skinny to the point that I felt like she's not gonna make it. But now after 20 days, she's almost eight pounds. So she gained almost four pounds within 20 days and she's been healthier, but she still caused me a lot of trouble because she tries to hunt down the food in the house and I have to put it up every time I cook or eat. Then I put on some clothes and shoes and trying to take a walk and my two cats are trying to wait by the door, maybe taking a walk with me. Hey, but they're by the round door. I like to take a walk every single morning for about 20 to 40 minutes, depending on how hot it is. It's still summer weather in Texas, but I did notice that my energy level is significantly different during the day if I take this morning walk to get my blood flow moving and get some fresh air. All right, now it's breakfast time. I used to not eat breakfast when I worked my eight to five job because I never had time, but I did notice a difference after I eat like a light breakfast. So today I'm eating this solar bread. It's basically a keto bread. It has a lot of protein and fat and fiber, but very low in carbs. It only has two grams of net carbs and I like to toast them a little bit. And because of the high fat and protein content, my other cat Simba stole some of the bread and took them upstairs and I tried to discipline him, but it wouldn't work. But good thing is that I took the bread back and threw them away. So yes, I definitely wasted some of the breads because I didn't pay attention for one minute and that happened. Then I lit up some candles. It's been kind of rainy and cloudy in Texas, which reminds me of my favorite season, fall. So I decided to light up some vanilla birch candle from Bath & Body Works. It's kind of like a winter holiday season candle, but it's just very warm and cozy. And I definitely love the vibe of a scented home when I work from home. All right, my healthy keto bread is toasted. I just want to do a disclaimer. I don't eat keto. I just eat this keto bread because it has less carbs and it actually tastes pretty good. It has a lot of protein. So for today, instead of putting almond butter, I decided to put cream cheese because sometimes I just have this weird cravings of cream cheese, but bagels, they spike my glucose level like no other. So I stopped eating bagels in my life and I just put cream cheese in top of this healthy bread. So the story is that I noticed that I have a lot of shakiness before or after eating. So I started wear continuous glucose monitor and it turned out that I have insulin resistance and it's pretty crazy. So I decided to eat things that has less carbs and more fat and more fiber and more protein. And then I'm just gonna eat breakfast in front of my computer and edit some YouTube videos. If you haven't subscribed, this is the time to hit that red button and subscribe, join the fam. Hey you guys, welcome to another vlog. I know I have water stains because brushing teeth, washing face, and makeup stuff and definitely. <laughs> That's okay. We have a bat and box. I'm super excited. This I believe is a pair of leggings. Finko! I actually scheduled a yoga class at my gym because you know I love going to yoga. It's one of my favorite instructors. But then I was trying to book it, but it's canceled. I'm so sad, but we're gonna do yoga at home since I'm actually a yoga teacher, so it probably doesn't. It's always nice when someone is leading you through a class, and my cat just got really excited about this package. Ooh, ta da! It's nicely packaged. Okay, my cat is super interested. Oh, this actually feels so nice, guys. It's so soft and it's in this grayish color because i was debating if i should get 
black or gray, but then I was like, I already have a lot of black clothes. Let's just get a gray. I'm actually go back to buy a black in the future if this one works well. It's super, super, super soft. I'll link this down below. I'll put this on and let's do some home yoga workouts. Oh my gosh, y'all, this pair feels so nice. I may actually buy another pair in black. Like this is like super breathable and super stretchy. It kind of reminds me of the Lululemon line that's like called a line. I love this. I'm so glad I got gray because it just have this like very nice squeaky look. Love this. <laughs> I may actually get another pair. It's just so seamless and it doesn't have any like weird stuff. And it just hugs in my like super nice and it doesn't feel too tight at all because i don't like leggings that feel too tight and this one doesn't feel tight at all highly recommend it's very nice for a yoga teacher <laughs> if you're a yoga teacher or you practice yoga like i think this one is perfect i can do all kinds of like handstand headstand arm balance in this Yoga was good. I'm super sweaty right now. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna probably go to a evening yoga class then. Initially, I was just gonna go to a HIT workout class, but now that like I didn't go to this afternoon one, I might as well just go to like two classes in the evening. And I need to cook because purposely we bought some air chilled chicken. I was gonna cook them, but I got lazy, but today is actually Wednesday. Yesterday, I was really busy with my um, teaching job. I teach a graduate class and it's completely on Zoom. And honestly, I have a little anxiety teaching on Zoom. And some students have a little bit of anxiety, like navigating the online class. So I had meetings with my students. So that was nice. I am glad to be helpful. I think that's what makes me happy. Like if I'm helpful, then it's time well spent. So now I'm gonna be meal prepping and we bought some air chilled chicken. Those chickens are super expensive. And then we put them in the fridge. So chicken in the fridge, they only last for three days. So today is the third day. Because we're about to cook, we have to put up this baby because so we rescued this cat the nala cat and she's like a stray cat so she's like crazy about food ever since we got this cat we always have to put her up and now that we have two cats it's just even more crazy because like simba still wants food but simba is a little bit more chill compared to this nala cat nala cat is crazy about food but the problem about nala cat is that He's just too crazy about food. So we have to put up Nala Cat. But still, after we put up Nala Cat, sometimes Simba Cat attacks the food. It's just so much of a hassle. <laughs> we have two cats. And also, uh, update for the leggings. I love them. I'll link them down below. Like, I legit love them. This one, I felt like it's the right amount around my waistline. And it has really, really nice. It's super, super stretchy. So, love this. Okay, I'm gonna give her a treat so that she's not too mad at me. Those are the organic air chilled chicken I was talking about. They're so freaking expensive. I would say we're trying to eat healthy, like 
to the crazy level right now because we're trying to conceive. Usually in the past, I was never like a crazy like eating healthy person. <laughs> I only put up one cat and I bought some taro. So I bought it in my recent Chinese store haul. I think they're still pretty good. Previously, I bought a lot of taro from H Mart and thinking that I'm gonna cut them. But until they go bad, I never had a chance to cut them. We got some cabbage and some tomato. Those are the potatoes. This taro thing is definitely not easy to cut for sure. Beautiful this cutting board is. We got it as a housewarming present. You can literally buy these and then <laughs> make some taro chips yourself. They're definitely different shapes of taro chips <laughs> or taro chunks in this um, dish, but it's okay. We're not professional chefs. For potatoes, we're gonna peel these. I know some people eat the peels, but they're lactins um, in the peel, so we try to just eliminate them. Lactins are not healthy, so I always peel the potatoes. I know there's still like lactins in the peels of tomatoes, but it's just so much easier to peel the potatoes than the tomatoes. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can refer to Dr. Gondry's book. I'll link it down below. I don't really do things strictly as what he says. A lot of the food groups that he eliminates also has other nutrients. So what I usually do is I try my best to process the food that contains high level of lactins. That usually reduces the amount of lactins that I intake because those cause inflammations and stuff. And we're gonna slice the potatoes as well. We're just gonna cut both of them at the same time because I'm lazy. Okay, for this, we're just, it's easier to cut this way. For the meat, we're actually gonna use a different cutting board. My husband likes chicken thighs. I hate the smells of raw meat. I haven't cooked raw meat for a long time. I was gonna use olive oil, but then I realized I don't have that. So we're gonna use the avocado oil. I think olive oil would have tasted better for this particular recipe, but <laughs> avocado oil it is. My camera is so chunky right here. I think the Joby tripod is also not working out. If you guys have any like recommendations for a tripod, definitely let me know. It just keeps sliding and then there were so many times that my camera just face plant my pot. Oh, it's just such a headache just to set up the shot with this tripod. I know like Casey Neistat and all those famous YouTubers use it. I just don't get the hype. It just doesn't work out for me. It's about to fall again. This got stuck. We're gonna cut up some tomatoes in. We're gonna put in the potato. Only we're gonna put in the taros as well. So we're just gonna simmer it down and put a little bit of water. Ta da! Some black pepper, some Italian seasoning. And we're gonna close the lid. Put a little bit more Italian seasoning. There we go, I desperately need a bigger pot. But so far, this is what we do with right now. Cabbage, they do shrink eventually. We're gonna close the lid for another 10 minutes and it should be ready to go. It's so easy. This recipe, you basically need a big pot, but it's so, so very nutritious, micronutrients, and together they make a pretty healthy balanced meal. It's our meal prep. We're gonna keep the lid open just for a few seconds. Oh. Mm. Ha, 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 ha. It has nice Italian seasoning. Finally, I have a last secret ingredient, which is marinara sauce from Rio's. We're just gonna put a little bit just to add a little bit more of the tomato flavor. All right, this recipe is pretty much done. I know it doesn't look that pretty, but it's so nutritious and it's just so easy to make. Actually, my grandma's <laughs> recipe from a long, long time ago. Highly recommend. Easy and delicious. All right, guys, the lunch is made. It's right here. It may not look like steak dinner expensive or anything fancy, but I promise. <laughs> pretty healthy. I'm actually gonna do some grading today because we have something due this weekend, but I think a lot of the students already submitted their assignments and I try not to wait until the last minute to grade them so that like I'm more on top of the game and then what if I get busy later? You never know, right? With a lot of things happening. 
right now, I just felt like it's a good idea to catch up with grading on um, grade as soon as possible. Alright guys, so we're in the kitchen and I think I'm gonna make a meal prep video because like I've been trying to meal prep more for my husband and his friends at work so it's Wednesday I usually just meal prep for them like for a day or two and the previous dish I felt like even though it's my favorite it's probably not gonna be their favorite so we're gonna do a meal prep video like Costco meal prep items and I hope you guys also like those content comment down below if you enjoyed those content Yo guys, uh, cooking and meal prepping definitely took a lot out of me. I actually feel really, really tired right now, especially I've been standing for so long. So I'm actually edit some videos on my couch and then I'm gonna go to two classes, one hit, one yoga. And tonight we're gonna go to see the baby. It's my brother and sister-in-law's baby. They give birth to this baby, but there are some complications. So the baby's still in a hospital. But the baby is getting better so i'm so excited to see my first nephew ever and i'm just like so happy that there is a baby in the family and it also i feel like i can learn a lot from my brother and sister-in-law because like we're trying as well and uh, these two just started fighting over the territory right here <laughs> It's just so good that someone is doing this before me in the family so I can like watch and learn and really learn from the experience. My cat is going crazy in the back. Like this cat, the new cat, like she's driving me a little bit crazy. I'm gonna leave her house. I have a workout class at 5 o'clock and I'm trying to refill my water bottle but before that I wanted to go to Target because I was filming a video fall decor video. Basically it was a video of me shopping in different stores about seasonal decor items you know for fall season and I shopped at Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Dollar Tree and Target but last time we went Target they actually didn't have as much items very recent time I saw a lot of nice fall season items but we were in a hurry and my husband just doesn't like to film shop with me videos together because it takes a long time for me to shop to do the shop with me video because I'm literally not shopping I'm like trying to show you guys what it looks like and my husband just wants to grab and go I felt really rushed and the shots do not look as stable they're a little bit of shaky because he's like let's go let's go so i'm gonna go to target then we're gonna go see the baby so there's so many things going on i'm gonna bring a change of clothes stop by and then we're gonna go to i'm running a little bit late because there's so many red lights oh let's go all right now let's check out target fall decor let's go Dollars. That's a pretty good deal. Love this one. 20. These wreaths are ten dollars. Modern farmhouse vibe. I can definitely smell the bourbon smell. I love these for just ten dollars. It's actually really really nice. Pear and honey crisp. I would actually be on board of this one. Wooden jar looks really good. Fifteen dollars. Actually, I may buy this one. This is forty five dollars, guys. It's real. I would say compared to this one. Hmm. All right, guys, we're here at the gym. We have 10 minutes to get changed and go in. I always have this fear of being late to my class and not being able to go. But we're here 10 minutes before the class starts. I'm just gonna put on my shoes and I'm gonna be here for about two hours. At the Target parking lot, you know, I was walking to my car and there was this like old guy, like, 
basically he used a target card and instead of like after he loaded a car instead of putting the cart back where you know the cart drop off is he just basically pushed it away and to like a little parking spot and just hit it by the bush so basically he's wasting a parking spot and not returning the cart and if anything he's pushing the cart away from the cart return i was just like why would you be so lazy? Why don't you just return the card? I think it's very wrong to do that, especially when you're taking up a parking space, especially at the rim. It's just so hard to find parking sometimes. So I was a little bit like judging. <laughs> After hit, I took a yoga class, but I didn't want to be intrusive and affect other people's peaceful and calmness, so I didn't film. And we went to the hospital to see the baby. We're so happy to see the baby for the first time. And we decided to eat at Pateri's as a family. Pateri's are relatively new to San Antonio, so all of the buildings are pretty new. And this feels like the fanciest fast food restaurant I've ever been to. And my husband got a milkshake, strawberry, and chocolate. It tastes like real strawberry. It does, like compared to Whataburger. Try oh, it tastes pretty tastes good. Like, Highly <laughs> recommend strawberry like chocolate. It tastes good. We all got some different types of burgers and fries because I love fries. It's my guilty pleasure. It's not healthy, but I eat it anyways because that's my <laughs> that's my joy in life. There were five of us, some of us got double cheeseburger, some of us got single cheeseburger, and I got a lettuce chicken wrap. The double cheeseburgers look so good, and it's definitely an expensive fast food restaurant compared to the other brands, and it just tastes super good. And of course, compared to the double cheeseburger, the single ones looks a little bit sad, but what's the saddest is my little lettuce wrap burger. And also, I chose chicken instead of red meat. I personally prefer chicken than beef most of the times. And also, I think I read on my articles it says that red meat is not good for fertility. So I always try to eat white meat chicken. And also, I have some glucose problems with my fasting glucose level. So I try to eat less carbs as much as possible. So I eliminated the bonds. Also, if I was gonna eat carbs, I might as well eat my favorite fries or any sort of potatoes. I just love potatoes in general and bread usually doesn't get me going. So I try to eat less carbs on my bones and I can eat more fries. What's kind of sucky is that it has some sort of sauce and it also has tomato juice. So the lettuce doesn't really absorb them. So when I take a bite, the juice is just splashed everywhere. It's kind of messy. With the double cheeseburgers definitely looks so good. It's so amazing. But again, it does have more carbs and it's red meat and it's not grass fed. So yeah, once in a while I'll eat one of those. But I generally don't like beef in general. So it doesn't appetize me that much, even though it looks good. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my video. And if you comment down below and I see you here and you Say you've subscribed to Miss Meek's channel, I'll buy you lunch. <laughs>